Hey there YouTube, this is Mr. Chrono666, and today I'm going to bring you something new. Normally I stay in the realm of handheld Game Boy related items, Game Boy Colors, Game Boy Pockets, a lot of their emulation, Goomba, Easy Flash, stuff like that. But today I'm actually going to go ahead and explain a very difficult process for me to learn, and it's going to be easy for you guys to learn, because I'm going to break it down stupid style, because I really, really had a lot of trouble with this, but I had a lot of help, and I'm going to go ahead and let's get started. The big shout out actually goes to, I shouldn't have said that, from Reddit, and I mean he sat there, or maybe standing somewhere, I don't know, swimming, taking a nap, but he was talking to me and he explained the entire process from beginning to end and helped with all the issues in between. So. Really glad that you helped me out, man. I super, super, super appreciate it. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get down to the nitty-gritty of this horrible, horrible process. All right. Step one. We want to assume you've already got your old SNES unzipped. You get all these folders. You got all these tools down here. You can also use Blarg to make these ROMs. And I really don't suggest that because Blarg... Is a superior is a um, inferior emulator compared to SNES 9X. So don't even do that. I won't even endorse it. And if you have issues using Blarg, sucks to be you. But I will not be providing any help or any diagnosis of why your ROM is messed up. And please don't ask for ROMs. I swear to God, some motherfucker always says, "Hey, Mr. Chrono, can I have some ROMs?" And I'm like, "No, bitch. Use Google. Get the fuck out of here, Google." Everywhere, everywhere. Look at this. Chrono Trigger SES ROM. Oh my god. Look at that. EmuParadise.me. Thank you, Internet. I'm so glad I could find these ROMs. But we're not actually using Chrono Trigger. Great game, but I already have the CIA file completed. So, first thing you want to do is you want to say, okay, what do I want to make? You're going to go to your input folder, and that's where you have to have your folder and all the required files in. And today I'm going to be doing, let's see, I want to do Mario Paint. Yes, y'all can make fun of me, but Mario Paint is the shit, okay? I'm also going to do Radical Dreamers, because that's also an amazing game. Radical Dreamers. And now that you got those, what you need to do, you need to have... Uh, some base artwork in there. Like, let's go into my my folder here. You're gonna have a banner. You want to have a label, and you want to have an icon. Size of the picture doesn't matter. The dimensions of the picture doesn't matter. It all has to be either a JPEG or a PNG. Easy. So, let's go ahead, and I'm gonna start with Mario Paint. And I do this as a process. I'll have Mario, or let's say I'll have the folder here for Mario Paint. I'll get everything I need and I'll set it on the desktop. Boom, for Mario Paint. I get everything I need for Radical Dreamers. Boom, put it all here on the desktop. Organize it, move it to this folder. You don't want to get too confused though, so for all intents and purposes I'm going to do these two ROMs and I'm going to make sure that everyone can see the process kind of repeated. So, let's go ahead and do Mario Paint. Not Mario Mario, Mario Paint. And always take note of when it was released. This was released 1992. Easy. That's going to be for your virtual console banner later on. So I want to go get some images. Look at that. Beautiful box work right there. Boom. Okay, that's the box artwork. Now, Mario Paint. You can do one of two things. You can have the title screen, which is wonderful, or you can have a screenshot from the game. You can have anything that really pleases you. And when I look at something like that, that pleases me. Someone else on YouTube has it, but I don't care. I could just take it if I wanted. Uh, see, that's that one there. That's a little better quality. I think I will just take this one because I can. I don't give a fuck. All right, so I'm gonna save this on the desktop. This is going to be uh, the banner. Boom, banner's done. Now, oh, I accidentally closed that. That was the label. We needed that. Uh, Mario Paint box, yes. All right, save image as label. Okay. 
And now you're supposed to have an icon because that's going to be what shows up on your actual home menu of your 3DS. So let's go ahead. Ooh. That's kind of cool. I don't know if that'll fit. It probably won't fit. I think I'll just rip Mario's picture from the actual cover art just because I can. It's a little lazy, but ooh, kind of a lazy guy, so this works out well. All right, so label and banner, boom. They're now in Mario Paint, and I always like having to to see bigger because, you know, I don't know, I'm old or something. All right, uh, I don't want it from view. Go ahead, and I like using GIMP. GIMP's like my go-to bitch. I'm like, GIMP, I need to get something, bro. And it's like, okay, bro, just go ahead and do that. And I say, okay. Now let's go ahead. Uh, man, I'm feeling so lazy about this. I'm just going to do just enough to get his face. Like I said, I just, I really don't care. And yeah, I know there's a box, but yeah, it's okay. And I got that. And let's paint. Boom. Look at that. Mario Paint. Actually, I like that. I think that looks pretty good. You don't have to convert this to an icon file, nothing crazy like that. All you have to do is just make sure you have that source photo. There we go. Boom. Ah, it's trying to save to Mega Man. We don't want that. Mario Paint. And now we have icon. Does not have to be an icon file. Again, just has to be that right file type. So, we got those three there. Going to go ahead and we're going to repeat it. Radical Dreamers. Okay, look at that. So many awesome pictures. Now, for all intents and purposes, I would actually like that to be my banner. Uh, let's see. Cart label. A little harder for Radical Dreamers. Because there's not really one. But we could probably use that. But that's got French on there. I don't want no French shit. I think I... I will go with that one right there. Hey, look. It's the same as the other picture. Whoopty fucking do. Hmm. Okay. No, I really don't want the Frenchie. No Frenchy shit. But that does look okay. I will go with this because it looks pretty close to the label. So we're going to go ahead and save this as. It's going to be Banner. Yes, we want to replace it. Remember, we already got our Mario paint. I don't care, Photo Bucket. Fuck off. Can I just get the direct? Don't do anything else. There we go. Thank you. Save image. Label. Boom. Let's save. Now, the icon. Looks like it'll be pretty simple for this one. So, I mean, I, I personally just don't care. My laziness is really trying to come out, but let's not do that. Let's do... Let's save as so we don't mess up the source file. We're going to do icon. Okay, now we've got our own separate entity that won't get screwed up. Boom. Good enough for me. Alright, let's close the gap. And then... Boom. Now we got an icon file. Look at that. How easy was that? Should have been illegal. Icon label and banner. Okay, we got all that copied here. Let's go ahead, view large icons. All right, some of the next stuff you want to do is you need to have, you want to have music, okay? When you go over the icon on your home screen, there will be custom music that plays if you want that. Otherwise, it'll just go bloop, a little, little sound. I can't really do the sound, but it's a sound when you turn on your Super Nintendo, okay? I don't really want that. There's so many useless windows here. Let's just close all these. Nobody cares about marriage and Skyrim or my school or my email or the actual thread where I had issues on or my eBay, which actually is a little barren. 
let's go ahead and search for the music. Let's go to our old friend YouTube. YouTube! And I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I, will, I don't want fucking YouTube to bitch about music and stuff, so I'm just going to mute this just in case. Let's go ahead and let's find the clip that we want. And let's see... I'm just going to take it from Chrono Trigger, because fucking Chrono Trigger is glorious. Let's see, Chrono Trigger, original sound. <laughs> Again, this is just me being super lazy, so I'm going to stop this part of the video so I can find the sound and, and not piss off the YouTube god. Alright, be right back. All right, so let's say you finally found your music. You want to go ahead, click the Eurola, and now you want to go to vid2mp3.com. This is where I go, and this takes music straight from YouTube. It takes the actual video, turns it into an MP3, and that's exactly what you need. Boom, download MP3. Uh, that's fine. I don't care about the title. Unimportant. Very quick to download, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same for Mario Paint. Alright, we've already got our music now. Chrono Trigger, Radical Dreamer music, and Mario Paint. So I'm going to go ahead, and what you need now, go to Tools. The program that I use, it's free, Audacity. Very easy. All you want to do here, let's say we want to do Chrono Trigger. Okay, we got Chrono Trigger in there. At this point, you want to select less than 2.5 seconds. I do something along the lines of 2.497 seconds because you have to have it within a certain amount or the music will just fail to even up, be applied to the virtual console banner. So we're going to go ahead and... For me, it was a little difficult to figure out how to use this. All you want to do, figure out which section you want. You can highlight it. You can copy it. Do a new window. And what that does right there, you'll paste it, which I didn't actually paste anything. I really don't want the music playing in my video. Somebody will complain somewhere. And at that point, you just add it in here. And then you hit File you want export audio and what that'll do is it always tries to save it as a wave and that's exactly what you want to do save it as a wave and then boom now you've got that file I'll be back shortly once I'm done with that alright so I've gone ahead and I actually found the audio I wanted just to show you I cut it we got a new window I want to paste and my total Length is 2.493 seconds. File. Now you want export audio. Always as a wave, so you have to name it banner. You can find your own way of actually separating the two or not. It doesn't matter. But you want to make sure that you don't confuse the actual banner files because then it can get real tricky later on. So you'll go to your input. We will go to Radical Dreamers. And I've got my banner right here. And I'm only setting it there so that I don't confuse myself later on. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to also prepare the audio for Mario Paint. All right, at this point, now we have our new banner music. Yay! So what we're going to do, we've got our, our folders and such there. You want to go into Tools. You want to go into CTR Wave Converter again, where we saw Audacity the first time. I already have a banner file here. I want to delete that. I like keeping the source file in case something goes wrong. So at this point, you want to go ahead and click Convert. Boom. It's done. Go to BC Wave. See? It made a BC Wave file. Now we're going to go ahead, put that in uh, the Mario Paint folder. And since I did that first, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do Mario Paint before I do Radical Dreamers. You want to also go into the Banner folder. See, there's a banner.bc wave here. You want to paste that in there as well. Copy and replace. Because that was the sound file that I used on the last game I finished. 
So at that point, we've got that ready. Now we need to go ahead and utilize some tools again. So we're going to go back to the tool folder. Okay. And one more. There we go. You want to go to Ohana 3DS. This is some of the very crucial information. You have to figure out how to get this done or the whole thing will just fall apart. What you want to do at that point, you want to open the textures. These are all found in the banner folder. The only ones we care about is banner zero and banner one zero and that's in again textures so let's start with banner zero this is all the icons needed for the actual conversion common one right here that's the one that actually goes on the 3d television in the game okay when you're looking at the home menu on your 3ds so as we see here i did Mega Man x last you want to go to import because you're importing a new file to replace that it should be in your input if if we had done that. See, I was trying to skip steps. But what we have to do is we have to run the banner tool. And fuck if I don't remember when Mario was made. Oh, I closed everything. All right. Mario Paint. Was that 92? All right, 92. There we go. So we'll keep that up. We need to go ahead, Mario Paint. Mario Paint again, and that's for the banner. Release year is 92. Leave the other ones untouched. Just enter through it. It's done. It'll say you want to restart. Hit no. You go to the output. Now you've got Mario Paint. See? It's got your three common files that I was just trying to use here. And you want to also take the VC banner and the actual label. I always just uh, cut and paste. Go to the input. You want to have them in your Mario Paint folder. Okay, you got those ready. Now we'll go back here. We'll go back to import. We want to go to the input. Mario Paint. There we go. Common one. Common two. And you'll never guess. Common three is right there. Common five is blank, so don't even worry about it. I hit save like five or six times. Because I swear this program is is a bastard sometimes. All right. Next, you want to open up the other banner, and that's banner one zero. This is for the virtual console banner, and this is also for the label that goes on the 3D Super Nintendo in the game on the home menu. Ignore EN6 because this here is just the 3D texture to make it look all 3D and shit. All right. We're gonna import. We of course want to import that label we just made. Mario Paint, released 1992. So, we'll go ahead. And the other cart label for Mega Man X is still there. Let's do Mario Paints. Righteous. So that's 100% good to go. I like clicking a million times. And I always like to double, triple check because there's so many steps in here. You're going to screw something up somewhere. And that's okay. That's how we learn. Okay. Zero is good to go. Ten is good to go. All right. With that being said, now we want to go ahead and we're going to go, let's see, those are good. So you want to go to banner, take your zero and your one zero, copy those. You want to have those in your input folder. Mario Paint, boom. Now those are in there. And we have the banner.bc wave. And I always like to run the banner program one more time because you need the banner.bin file. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to run it again. Mario Paint. Mario Paint. 92. Okay. And I like running that once I've actually got everything in the folder. Because at this point, you've got your 0, your 1, 0 in there. You've also got the, uh, the VC banner done. And the BC wave is in there. And at this point, what you need to do is you want to go to your output, and you want to go, let's see, where are Mario Paint, the banner, this right here, very, very important. So I'm copying that. I like to leave that where it is. Banner, I'm going to throw that in here. Okay, I'm replacing that from the other banner that was in there. And we also want to put that in our input folder for Mario Paint. Boom. See, we've got the banner bin. We've got the banner.bc wave. We've got banner zero, banner one zero. We've got the label. 
icon, the VC uh, banner thing. We've also got um, the label for the cartridge right there. Everything is, is in place. Let's see, label, banner, icon, boom. I even have to think about this myself because, number one, I don't do scripts. Number two... I don't like I just don't like doing something that's so rehearsed. I say fuck it, I just go, I do it on the spot. All right, with this being said, we have every important part to this file. Now I'm going to go ahead and that's it. I was going to do Mega Man X in there too, but nah, fuck it. I'm going to do just Mario Paint. And at that point, Mario Paint is good to go. We are going to run Make SNES 9X. Okay, game title, Mario Paint. Missing ROM file. All right, so that was another mistake I love doing, is I forgot the ROM file. So let's go to Super Nintendo. Please don't ask me where the ROMs are. I'll tell you it's up your ass. See, look, I don't even have Mario Paint. Do I? Do I really not have paint? Super Mario Paint. That's weird. Why is it called Super Mario Paint? Is it really called Super Mario Paint? No. No, it's not. Alright, so let's just go ahead and just go back. Super Mario Paint. That's really weird. But I like all SMC files, so... I'm gonna go ahead and tweak that file just a little bit. It's just Mario Paint. It's not Super Mario Paint. Really? Is it? Let's see. No, it's Mario Paint. Fucking. Probably. I probably named it that at one point. I don't know. All right, so we have Mario Paint. Input. Let's try that again. All right. Can't forget to have the ROM in there. All right. Make SNES 9X. Mario Paint. Just making sure, yes, uh, you got to make sure that that ROM matches the folder's name and everything. Description, description you leave blank. Publisher, Nintendo. Product code. There's a product code you can actually look up, but I'm lazy and just don't care. SNS, I'll do MP, Mario Paint, USA, because that's the game. Unique ID, this is extremely important. If you fuck this up, there's nothing I can tell you. That, that will save you. What it is is that each and every game you create, you have to have a six letter number system. It's all hexadecimal. And what that does is that tracks the actual unique ID of the game. So, what I'm going to do right by Super Godzilla, we're going to insert row. I'm going to do Mario Paint. One, two, three, four, five. The next number on my list is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Mario Paint. Boom. That is 100% good to go. You wait for it to finish. Done. Press any key to continue. If I say, do you want to build another? I say, nah. I'll work on Radical Dreamers following this video of my own accord. And that's pretty much it for the computer portion. Now you've got the CIA file right there. Look at that. Mario Paint. Glorious. So, at this point, what I'm going to do... I'm going to make sure I copy that. I don't want to cut and paste because if it's a good file, I'll put it in my CIA Super Nintendo ROMs folder. You want to make sure to open up your memory card. That actually goes into your 3DS. I put it just here in the main directory. It doesn't have to go anywhere fancy. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch to my phone. We're going to do the install and I'm going to show the final product. So I will see you. Hello YouTube! I know it's been a long wait, which was pretty much instantaneous. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step. Take out a little handy dandy memory card. Get your tripod back in place if you're recording for a YouTube video. Alright, Sonic of 3DS. Time for you to do your one and only fucking job. Play games for me. Okay. Always make sure that's good in there. Can we see? Hey, I see a reflection of me. See, so just gotta wait for it to start up. There we go. Let's get some good focus. There we go. Everything's a little darker, but that's okay. Alright. You also have to make sure you have a hacked 3DS. 
I mean, if you've made it this far and your 3DS isn't hacked, I don't know what to tell you. All right. I use FBI to do the install. I'll wait for that to load up. Mm -hmm. Sitting still is overrated. All right. Go to your SD. Hit right, and that goes down faster. Mario Paint CIA. Look at that beautiful icon. Install and delete CIA helps clear up the folder you're storing all your stuff in. Little cat hair on the window. And it just keeps things clean. If that's a good file, I'll go ahead and I'll put it right into my completed ROMs folder. Okay, push any button, you're now complete. Go back to the home menu. Whenever it wants to go back. There we go. I close that out. And then just wait for the magic to happen. Yeah, just wait. Ah, new software has been added to the home menu. If everything worked out well, it's going to look and sound amazing. Ready? There you go. It actually worked out perfectly. Let's say you wanted to look at what it would be without that custom. Uh, let's see. Here's the original Mario Paint. And yeah, it works, but it's a little little plain for my taste. See, then you scroll over it. Fucking colors, it's got life. It just looks good. Now, the only difference between SNES 9X and Blarg is that Blarg can have custom borders. These cannot, and that's okay. I mean, that just that doesn't interest me. Do, 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 do. Now there's there's some controller setting that I don't care about setting up right now. So, and I always make sure to go to exit inside of the ROM so you don't crash it. I've actually lost a few save states and save games before, but how can you argue with that? It's glorious. It's beautiful. All right. Now that you've actually sat through this whole video, got any questions, comments, concerns? You know what to do. Standard stuff. Like, comment, subscribe. Look at my awesome Sonic 3 ds And that's really it. Again, major, major thanks to I shouldn't have said that from Reddit. He really helped me out, took his time, and assisted me with getting this process down to an art. If any one of you would like help, you can go ahead and add me to Discord. Obviously, my tag is the same as my username, Mr. Chrono666. Add me, bug me, I will help you. And just please make sure to watch the video as many times as you need to to make sure you get it down perfectly. Because it's a bitch, but hey, it will work eventually. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Y'all have a good night. Peace.